Hi, I'm T-Roll. Welcome to T-Roll Reviews. Today I'm so excited to be taking a look at a very special piece of music technology. It's Dave Smith's instrument and it's called the Tetra. Tetra and it's actually a fully analog ambient sequencer. All right, let's take a look. So it's, it's interesting, you gotta you got plug it in here first. If you get the plug in, it's a little hard to get in, but once you get it in, what happens is there's no actually keys on this or control. There's like a, a button there, but you got these knobs, all right? And so the way you work, the way you make it work is you pair it, you combine it with a, uh, like another synthesizer that's got keys, some kind of a controller, some kind that's got keys. So in this case, I'm going to be using uh, something called the Miniac. I'm always kind of surprised when people haven't heard of the Miniac synthesizer. Um, when people ask me about it, I always describe it as, you know, it's basically a virus, um, except it costs about one-sixth the price and you, you don't have to pay extra uh, for it. So what you do here with the Tetra uh, ambient sequencer is you basically, you, you can actually use this with any synthesizer, but what you do is you basically place it on top of the keys. And, uh, in this case, I've got the sound coming from the Miniac. And once you place it on there, okay, so it's sequencing right now. It's actually making ambient music. Okay, so the Tetra is actually able to play, uh, you know, whatever notes that you actually put it down on too, okay? So it's actually triggering these sounds in real time, okay? You can, uh, there's several adjustments you can make on this thing. You can play, uh, you can play like higher notes, you can move it up to this end, and you can play like sort of a happier ambient. Whoa, we gotta turn it down a little bit. You can play like ha happy ambient music there on the, if you, if you move it, you know, to the right on that that end you can play darker darker ambient you can move it down here okay okay that's a lot boomier it's a little bit more foreboding a little more ominous sounding okay so you can actually do a lot of different kinds of ambient music with this um, one of the things that's unique to the tetra that i haven't really seen any of the other uh, ambient sequencers is you can not just not just the black keys i've been showing you can actually play it on white keys okay it's a little bit a little bit riskier but you can actually play it there on these white keys too see if you got to be careful so it doesn't fall off it's pretty you can easily slide off there but you basically got it there you can play white keys or black keys but you can hear that it's very very high quality ambient sequencing hear that well, let's just listen to it for a second it's kind of a drone droning sound Kind of reminds me when my mom's talking to me. Yeah. It's like being in the library. It's like waiting for a bus. It's also got various uh, uh, kind of settings you can set it to um, inside the actual unit itself. So you, uh, in this case, I'll go to the uh, global menu and then I, I turn the knob and I can select this thing. I don't know if you can see this on here. Uh, it's called multi-mode. Uh, you turn that off, and that basically, now the instrument basically becomes a monophonic uh, ambient sequencer. So you can use it for sort of those monophonic, really luscious, kind of all surrounding monophonic ambient, ambient uh, songs. Just to demonstrate the monophonic, uh, the mono mode, here I got it hooked up to a monophonic synthesizer, and you basically just, bam. So it's sort of, bam, there you go. Monophonic ambient music right there. You hear that? So you can get monophonic. Um, this is actually all an all all analog, um, fully monophonic synthesizing using ambient sequencers. Okay, this is fully analog right here. That was the Dave Smith's instrument, uh, fully analog. Uh, ambient sequencer they're called the Tetra. Um, I love mine. I think it's the most incredible uh, music making device I've ever used. And I've, I've got one now. I've got another one on order and I'll probably get another one for my birthday. So this is T-Roll. Thanks again for watching another T-Roll Reviews.